What more have we gleaned? Yeah, it's a steady drip feed of information, really. This latest development uh, is not an official announcement, as according to people familiar with the matter, but uh, it's likely that Australia uh, will get submarines that are based on a modified British design uh, with parts and upgrades coming from the United States. So, as I say, no official comment, but that's coming soon. Uh, Anthony Albanese is in India at the moment. After that trip, he heads to the United States, uh, specifically San Diego, uh, where he will be meeting with President Joe Biden and uh, Rishi Sunak, the British Prime Minister, is also expected to be in attendance and that's going to see another announcement uh, regarding the AUKUS partnership, which is now 18 months old. So we are expecting to hear a lot more detail then about uh, the precise nature of Australia's nuclear submarines. Paul, it will still take many years before Australia can take delivery of those submarines. So what's the plan in the meantime? Yeah, many years and a lot of money, uh, $70 billion uh, at least, uh, with the first delivery not expected until the late 2030s. So, yeah, that's a very live question. What happens in the meantime? Because Australia's current fleet of conventional subs is certainly getting pretty old. Uh, we have heard a report from Reuters this morning uh, saying Australia will buy up to five uh, Virginia-class submarines from the United States. Uh, that Reuters report uh, doesn't uh, cite where that information came from. Another potential option would be basic. U.S. submarines in Australia uh, while we wait uh, for the delivery of uh, Australia's custom-built submarines. However, uh, where they are going to be built, how they are going to be maintained, those are all open questions as well. And it does complicate the security picture in the Asia-Pacific also. China, understandably, very unhappy about this development just last month, uh, saying that this is going to fuel military confrontation in the region.